Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video, and I post the videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Today's video, as the title says above, is going to be my July, August wrap up, <laughs> as well as my September reads and studies. And I wanted to get back into doing this now that, you know, the elevation service is over and classes are done for now. But um, yeah, I wanted to get back into this, especially since I have so many review books to read. So we're going to start off with my July wrap up because I didn't talk about that or my August. So yeah, um, I just have my stuff written in this notebook. I got this notebook from Walmart and I'm not the brand is class act so um it just says walk by faith and um, I just keep some notes here that has to do with YouTube in my blog so I'm just gonna read off of this because I have everything written down so I don't even remember what month I did this when did I do this okay I did do this in July so the first thing <laughs> we're gonna start off with is my July reads and studies so um the only Bible study that I actually completed was this one by Priscilla Shire, which is the Jonah one, and I love this so much. It's um, Navigating a Life Interrupted. I absolutely love the way Priscilla broke down Jonah. Um, it was just so impactful, so amazing. I highly recommend it if you can get your hands on it. This was a gift from my sis, Stephanie, and you can check out her channel by clicking the eye on the screen. So thank you again, sis, for this Bible study. It was so, so good. I really loved it, and um, I highly recommend it. It's, it's phenomenal. I think I even want the video sessions to this. So good. But we have this, and I did complete it. I gave it five stars because I loved it so much. And then following that, I read a total of five books for the month of July, which is not, not that well for me. But again, July and August, I was busy with the elevation service and preparing and classes and stuff like that. So five books is pretty good. Um, but the first one I read was Own Your Every Day by Jordan Lee Dooley. I, this was an overdue book. This book came out May 14th, and I didn't read it till July. But I did give this three and a half stars. Um... This is pretty good, but it didn't have a lot of scripture. And um, when it comes to self-help books, I prefer a lot more scripture, especially if it's Christian-based self-help books. I just prefer a lot more scriptures. And there were not a ton of scriptures in this book from what I remember, like, at all. There were barely any. And um, I don't mind books that talk about your life, but if you're a Christian-based um, author and you're writing a book that is more so geared towards Christian women, I need you to... Not just give me motivational, inspirational quotes and um, things from your life, but I need scripture as well. Like, you can give me that, but at least correlate your personal experiences back to scripture in some way. Um, so, I didn't really care too much for it. It was okay read, gave it three and a half stars. The next book I read was one from the Lies We Believe series by Nancy DeMoss Wogameth, and that is Lies Girls Believe and Troops That Set Them Free. This one was by Donna Gresh, and um, if I'm not mistaken, the editor, yes, was Nancy DeMoss Wilgameth. This was the one for little girls. I gave this one four stars. Really enjoyed it. Um, it was so cute, and I really just honestly love the illustrations. It was, like, super cute. Um, it's pretty much the same information from the Lies Young Woman Believe book, but um, this one was more geared towards younger girls, and I did enjoy it. It didn't really, like, convict me how, like, the one for young women did, but I did enjoy it. I highlighted in here. I marked up things. You guys can see... So I was, I was in here, you know, getting some good stuff, but, um, I think it's a good one for me to have when it's time for me to, um, minister to younger girls and things like that. So I do recommend this if you're a mom, they do have a mom, um, guide, here it is. They have a mom guide as well, which I should have gotten that months ago, but they haven't sent it yet. So I actually need to contact the company because they're late on sending me my review books. So yeah, but I did enjoy this, so I gave it four stars. The next nonfiction read that I read for July was Pathways by Tony Evans. Oh my god, I love this book. Gave it five stars. This is literally one of my new favorite books. This is him breaking down the book of Esther. It's called From Providence to Purpose, and oh, this, whew, this just changed my life. Oh my god, it just, I love the book of Esther, okay? Ruth and Esther, I mean, are the only two female-based books in the Bible, but they have so much depth, and um, Dr. Tony Evans blew my mind away with this book now i will say the prologue killed me um literally i wanted to like strangle myself because it talks about football i'm not a football fan i'm not a sports person at all so i literally was going to give up but i think it was about six seven pages in i started to say okay i get some points like i started highlighting but um it took me a minute because that prologue was killing me but once you get past the prologue you'll be fine if you like football it'll be perfectly fine for you but um five stars i 
prologue sucked but it was a five-star read the next two books are going to be fictional books and they're both by connie lynn cassette it is going to be book two from out from egypt this one is shadow of the storm i gave this four stars as follows shira and uh i think his name is ayel 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 Al yes, Al. I'll put his name on the screen. I think I'm pronouncing it wrong, but um, it follows them. I gave this four stars only because I loved Shira in the first book, which was kind of with the stars. She was a lot more bold and sassy in her book. She was a lot more quiet, reserved, and timid, and ugh, I didn't care for that. Especially since I know how outgoing she can be. So I gave it four stars because of that reason. But it was still a great read. And the last book I read for the month of July is Wings of the Wind, which five star read. Um, if you don't know why, Mariah. And I'm listening to the audiobook right now of um, A Light on the Hill. And apparently it's not Mariah, it's Moria, which is weird. So I don't know if I'm going to start saying it the correct way or just saying Mariah, but they say Moria in the audiobook. So yeah, but it features her, um, but it actually follows Alana, who is a Canaanite canaanite woman yeah who disguises herself as a man to battle against the israelites and she was almost killed by tobiah but tobiah saves her and um it's their romance and it's so cute i love tobiah he is such a well just i love how he is he was amazing he was awesome and the things that he went through with his wife was crazy alana is a strong woman she's funny um this of course includes shira shira has such a just sassiness to her kia who i love from kind of with stars I love them and then it has my little mariah and it talks about her kind of like story before the events of a light on the hill so we have that moving on to my august reads um i had a pretty good month i pretty much had five stars a four star and a 4.5 star kind of rating going so it was really great um so i only read one um non-fiction book and that was the esther anointing and this is by michelle mclean walter we read this together for the doi book club and gave this five stars i love this book this was the second time me reading this book and um it's phenomenal from front to back and i there's something about michelle the way she writes her books is more of like almost like a bible study kind of way but it's a lot more in depth and it kind of reaches your heart and really brings out certain points of the scriptures that you would not have noticed i love this it was amazing and um it was definitely inspiring and i tapped it up again so yeah um the way my notes in here look are a little bit crazy just because i have like thousands of colors everywhere so rereading this the second time was amazing and this is definitely one of the books that sparked me into really going forward with creating daughter of increase so great book the next book i have for you guys is dawn singer by jonna lynn voigt and this is the first book in the tales of Faye raven drink i think it's gonna be a trilogy but i gave this book four stars this is a christian fantasy i absolutely adored it i think it includes i think they're fays or they're not fairies but they're i don't know but it's called Faye raven and it was really good um i loved shay who was like the main character and oh my god what is the guy's name um kai sorry kai and shay are amazing shay is so strong and the things that she had to deal with especially that ending oh my god it killed me it killed me so i will be reading wayfarer which is the sequel this month because that ending i love kai kai is so amazing just and the things he had to keep secret like the things he had to keep secret from her another good christian fantasy that we just gonna leave it there the next book i read is a spiral into marvelous light this is by michael graboski graboski i think that's how you pronounce it i gave this book a 4.5 star rating this is contemporary the author did send me this book it took me a minute to read it so i did apologize to him but i definitely enjoyed it and the reason why it took me a minute is because the first five or so pages bored me i'm not even gonna lie it bored me but i sucked it up i read it and I loved it. I didn't tab this book up because some books I just don't tab up. But this one was so good. So it follows Scott Addison and him doing a sort of paper on Reverend Sammy Milton. And um, who is the guy that Scott works for? Oh my god. Um, I'm going to tell you guys his name right now. His boss. Scott's boss name is Michael Phillips. And Phillips cannot stand um, Reverend Milton. So what happened was he was excited that Milton had died. So he wanted Scott to go to all of Milton's kind of enemies to write an expose, if you will, on Milton being dead and how happy everybody is. But everything kind of took a twist when Scott went to go interview everyone because 
even though they were his enemies, um, they actually respected him a lot more than was shared. And I just thought it was amazing to just learn about the main person who is Sammy Milton, but he's dead. So um, I definitely enjoyed this a lot more than I thought I would. So I gave it a 4.5 star rating and definitely recommend it. And I apologize if you guys hear any drilling. My landlord is downstairs drilling and I've been, you know, I'm, it, yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. The next book is The Legendary Wolf, and this is by Amar Habib, and I gave this a five-star rating. Now, the thing about this is, um, is not really Christian fiction, it's more of thriller, but I'm including it in this video because I got this from a company that actually advocates a lot more Christian fiction, um, so that's why I'm throwing it in this video, if that makes sense. But um, I love this. Gave it five stars. It was awesome. And um, it does deal with an, an ex-assassin. And um, it's kind of hard to describe this book. So his name is Grayson Wolf. They called him, um, what was it, Moors, who was the Roman embodiment of death. So he was kind of like a Grim Reaper um, style assassin because he was quick, he was efficient, and he was quiet about his work. Um, but he gave all that up when something went wrong, which was terrible, by the way, like terrible. Um, and then he started to work as a bodyguard for um, orphanages and um, keeping the orphanages from being robbed and ransacked and all that. But um, he ends up taking a job that was totally unexpected that has to do with a little na little girl. And I think her name is probably not Anna. What was this little girl name? Was it Anna? Yes, her name was Anna. He takes this job unexpectedly to protect this little girl named Anna. And um, the thing about it is, Gray had a really dark kind of mindset. He really wanted to die, um, but he could never kill himself. And when he did get into, like, uh, issues, he tried to have himself killed, but people would kind of, like, walk away from him um, and not kill him. So he had this very dark, suicidal mindset, which... After finding out the reason why, it made sense. But um, this little girl, Anna, that he ends up having to protect kind of like sparks a new type of hope for him. And um, it's just him coming back to his senses and becoming the old him without being the old him. I hope that made sense what I said. It's hard to explain, but it's really good. Um, and I loved it. So I gave it five stars. And the last book that I read in August was Land of Silence by Tessa Abshaw. I gave this five stars. Um, it's Tessa. Why, you know, what do I have to say? It's Tessa. I love her writing. It follows the story of the woman with the issue of blood. In this book, she gives the woman a name. Her name is Eliana. And she deals with so much. Whew, just so much, so much, so much. From beginning to end. But I love it because Eliana is very strong. She takes a lot of the burden on herself. And it kind of, like, pisses me off because of the stuff that she does but um it's such a powerful book i enjoyed it so much and i highly recommend it. okay so now moving on to september reads and study so these are going to be the things that i'm reading and studying for this month first things first i'm going to be actually studying my bible fingers crossed i haven't been actually studying in my bible like books of the bible like i'm supposed to you guys know i know um i'm still on psalms 69 now i think i did complete 68 so i'm on psalm 69 need to catch up on that um, I'm on Mark chapter 4 and Joshua chapter 5. So, Psalms, Mark, and Joshua, I'm still in those. We need to get through those. <laughs> but, um, I'm also going to be doing, hopefully, two Bible study workbooks. So, the first one I have here is Unexplainable Jesus. It's a study of Luke, um, and it's by Erica Wiggenhorn. I'm actually doing the online Bible study with her through Facebook. If you guys want to join, I'll leave a link down below. But, it's week 1, day 4 today as I'm recording this. Um, by the time you guys see this on Saturday, I think it'll be the, yeah, we'll be on like the weekend, so it's like a break. But it's really, really good. And one thing I like is that Moody Publisher actually gave us access to the video sessions to this for free. So the video sessions, all eight of them, I believe, came out to like $24.99. But if you do join in on the Bible study, you do get it for free. They give you a discount code where you don't have to pay for it and you can purchase it. For no money so i do have access to that which is awesome but i'm loving this oh my god day four just rocked me um and it was so so good so i am loving this bible study so far the next bible study that i want to try getting back into if i can squeeze it in is um seeing this by angie smith this is understanding the bible as one complete story and i have started this before um i really did start this before like <laughs> i can show you guys I started it before I was writing answers and stuff in here but then I stopped like I was answering things but I, I don't know I just I stopped doing it for a minute so I'm gonna get back into this because I really do want to get through this Bible study I've heard it's really good and um 
yeah so i'm gonna try to dive into this for september as well okay so for the non-fiction reads i'm gonna be reading um i have four to show you guys so the first one is this one it is Hooper's Evangelist and Minister's Handbook, Everything You Need to Know Before You Go by Deborah C. Hooper. This was actually a gift from my uncle, and I know I mentioned it in the reading blog I did for Land of Silence that I think he gave it to me, but he definitely did. I contacted him and he told me he sent this to me, um, and so far I am loving it. It's so good. It is so useful, um, and I mentioned this in the previous video, um, the Land of Silence uh, reading blog. I think that was two videos back, if I'm not mistaken, but... Um, Every evangelist is a minister, but not every minister is an evangelist. So that's why it's kind of a duo kind of handbook. But this one really goes into depth about the different type of evangelism that you can do. Um, it talks about what you need when you're, um, you know, you're traveling, your wardrobe, accessories, your the business side of like your biography, your business cards and stuff like that, your headshots and things. So I really, really do like this book. It is so helpful and I can't wait to just finish it up because I'm learning so much. And um, you guys know that I was recently ordained to act as an evangelist, which is still kind of hard to like say when people call me an evangelist. I kind of like start freaking out and laughing because it's funny. But um, yeah, so this book is awesome and I'm going to be reading this for the month of September. The next book I'm going to be reading is one that I said I wanted to read in August, but I just I didn't get to read it. I think it was in July or was it August that I said I wanted to read it. Um, I probably read like the first three pages. First ten pages. I got ten pages of the way through. And then I stopped. And that is Colliding with Destiny by Sarah Jakes. I love Sarah Jakes. If you guys don't know, her actual name now is Sarah Jake Roberts. But she is the daughter of T.D. Jakes. Um, and she is a phenomenal woman. I think this is not her first book, but I think her second book but this one talks about Ruth and Boaz so I'm excited to dive into this the next two books are going to be arcs that I have to read they're still non-fiction um so this first one is a devotional and it's by Sharon Case Lennis mm, yep that name right there it's called Jesus Day by Day um it is a one year through the Bible devotional to help you see him on every page I have to review this and read it it is a devotional so with devotionals I obviously don't completely read them through but um some of these they give you a few chapters to read like here they give you some chapters from isaiah if you guys can see that and then sometimes they give you um more than one book of the bible to read so we have that i am going to read through the ones for joshua as well as psalms and um mark since i'm studying them but yeah i'm excited to dive into this and it looks really good i'm a sucker for devotionals you guys know i love good devotional so this one includes a lot of scripture um so i'm excited for this the last review book that i have is from ann graham lott i love her she's phenomenal and it's called jesus and me experiencing the holy spirit as a constant companion this book comes out october 1st so i need to like read it before october 1st and i'm sorry but this one here jesus day by day comes out september 17th so yeah we got to get a roll on these books but um i'm excited for this one moving on to my fiction novels I have 12 review books that I have to read this month. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's 9. Excuse me. I have 9 Christian fiction review books that I have to read. But I have 12 total, including my secular books. So yeah. But I have 10 books here to show you guys. So we're going to grab this stack of books if I can without dropping things. Oh god. You guys can see this stack right here. <laughs> yeah. But um, the first book... I'm reading with the Biblical Fiction Buffs book club on Goodreads with Jennifer Maverick. I did a video announcing everything about this book club, so if you haven't seen that, just click the eye on the screen. But it's A Light on the Hill by Connie Lane Cosset. I have already previously read this. Loved it. It follows Moria, but I say Mariah and Etienne, as well as Derek, which the way they pronounce their names on the audiobook is so funny. So I am rereading this while listening to the audiobook, and I swear, this time going through, I have a lot more things to say. Like, I have a lot more notes on this page and a lot more notes on this page and i'm able to like correlate some of the events happening in this book to the previous books from out from egypt so i love this book so much i have a review coming on this book soon because it's one of my favorites from connie like i think this is my number one favorite from connie. nope it's my second favorite from connie because wings of the wind is my favorite <laughs> but yeah we have this book that i'm reading and i have already read five chapters i'm trying to read five chapters a week since this is a three month long um book club and i want to be able to give my input as much as i can so five chapters a week should help me get through this book so we have this the next eight books are all review books that were sent to me so yeah the first four books i'm going to show you guys was sent to me from buoyancy 
PR, and I don't have their business card. I normally do have their business card next to me, but I believe it's Buoyancy Publications. Um, they sent me these books. So the first three are by the same author, which is Linda Ferguson, and this is a trilogy. The trilogy is called The Lion and the Butterfly. The first book is called A Royal Dance. The second book is called A Royal Family, and then the third book is called A Royal Father. I will be binge reading these books. I will be doing a reading blog of binge reading these books, but um, yeah. So this basically um, takes place in Bible times, um, and so that's pretty much all that I can say. It takes place in first place century, and um, it's all about faith in Jesus. That's pretty much all I'm going to say because I, I don't want this video to be way too long. So we have these three books to read from her. And then the other book that they sent me was by Re Melissa Rosenberger. Um, this is the first book in a new series she's coming out with. It is called um, The Unveiled. And it is called The Shadow of the King. And this I thought was such an amazing thing. So if you guys read in scripture, I'll actually put the scriptures on the screen exactly where they talk about it. But they do mention that Jesus has sisters, but we never know their names. We know he has brothers because they mention it. But they also mention that he has sisters. Well, this is a biblical fiction of his sister what her life would have been like um her belief in her brother being jesus and things like that um so her name would be hannah and that's what this is so all four of these are biblical fiction stories okay so i'm excited to dive into those really soon the next four are also christian fiction based um if i'm not mistaken they're all from rebel yes they are all from rebel i have two suspense novels and then two contemporary ones yes um they were sent to me for blog tours that they have going on i signed up for all four i got accepted into all four so i have all the books here which i'm super excited about so the first one is called you belong to me by terry ferris um it says restoring heritage i'm not store yet yeah, this is a series so the series is called restoring heritage and um this is what the book looks like and i'm not gonna read the back of it because this video is way too long but <laughs> if you guys want to know more about it just click the links down below to go to the goodreads to find out more information but it is contemporary romance and i am excited to get into this because i want to read more contemporary romance that is more christian based i do love contemporary romance i still read my secular novels because i know a lot of people ask me how i balance listening to hip-hop and reading my secular books um being a christian and now being an evangelist and i'm going to talk about all that in a video because i still do my regular listening of hip-hop and r&b and i still read you know my paranormal romance books but um i take it in increments and i do minimums if that makes sense which i'll talk about but yeah contemporary romance and i just love the spine of this book it is so freaking gorgeous it's really florally so we have this which i'm going to be reading the next book is i'm not sure if this is contemporary romance or if it's just contemporary Yes, it seems to be contemporary romance, um, but it's called The Worlds Between Us by Aaron Bar Bartels, and um, it has to do with books. It's a romance book about books, and I think, it's not, is it a library or is it a bookstore? Or am I, like, not right? <laughs> it has to do with classic novels. It's a fiction novel about books, and I like books, so yeah. The next two books are suspense, like I said. So we have The Girl Behind the Red Rope by Ted Decker and Rochelle Decker. And I own a lot of ebooks from Ted Decker, and I have yet to read them. I heard that he's a phenomenal fantasy and sci-fi writer. I want to get into more of his books. Haven't read them yet. I own the majority of them on my e-reader. Help me. But um, this just sounded really, really good. I'm going to read the back. It just says, In a world where the boundaries are clear and punishments severe, a young woman risks everything to break free from the system of fear and control to find freedom and love. And I think this has to do with, like, a secret uh, religious group or something like that. Yeah. There's a secret religious group. So, you know, that's going to be interesting to read. And I just really, really love this cover. And I will be coloring the edges of my book um, in gold. So by the time you see the review for this book, it'll probably have gold edges because, yes, because under the cover is black, um, is red. And it has like black writing. So my sister was like, you should paint the edges of your book gold. So I'm going to do that. And if you guys don't know what I mean, I will show you guys with this book here, Colliding with Destiny, I did paint the edges gold. So I painted the edges gold because um, the cover looks like that. So that's what I mean by painting the edges. I'm going to paint it gold, but not that kind of gold. I'm going to paint it a lighter gold. But yeah, um, the last book I have for my September TBR. My September read <laughs> is going to be The Griffin Heist by James S. Hanabi. 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 I don't know how to pronounce that name, 
but um, it sounded good. It had to do with the, uh, the CIA, and um, I'm trying to get more into like the CIA army type Christian suspense novels because a lot of people ask me about them, and I personally love those kind of like shows. So we're gonna get into this. I don't know much about this book. I think I want to go into this book blind, but I have to read and review it before the end of the month. So yeah. So that's it. Um, pretty long, massive list of books to read. Um, I normally would say that I'm confident in getting through them. But we have a lot of things going on at church, and you guys know that I work as my first lady's assistant. I now work with my bishop as well on some things, and um, I'm also a part of the church administration and being an evangelist now and having to prepare sermons. We'll see if I can get through all of these books. We're going fingers crossed, thumbs up. If I could get through all of these, because they're all review books, literally. So, um, pray that I can get through these books. But yeah, I think that's it for this video, you guys. If you guys want to see any... Um, review specifically on any of these books let me know i can do that for you guys if you guys want to know more information about these books it'll be linked down below either you can i'll have the goodreads link or the amazon link where you can go purchase and um check it out for yourself but i think that's it for this video this video is massively long i apologize um hopefully i was able to edit it down because i had to pause a few times but yeah um, so that's it. Subscribe if you aren't subscribed. Hit that little bell notification if you are subscribed. Thumbs up this video. Comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.